ask Tom on home show. Jake from Belleville, Michigan has tankless troubles. Well, he saw our video about tankless water heaters. Now he has questions, Tom. Jake writes, the hot water seems to turn off during the shower. It only happens when the water is diverted to the shower head. So he runs it in the tub. He's not having a problem. I, and he says, I don't have a water saver in there. Our old 40, and he says also, our old 40-year-old tank had three-quarter in and a half inch out, and the tankless is half in, half out. And it feels like our water flow in the shower is a little lower as a result. Is there something to be done to fix that? Well, there's no doubt that when you turn the spigot onto a tub, you're getting full pressure. Uh, whatever they're giving you, 60 PSI, 80 PSI, 40 PSI, whatever you, is delivered to your house, that has no restriction in it at all. And for good reason, it's for filling up a tub, so you want to go quickly with it. When you get into shower heads, whether you have a water saver, which is kind of an odd term because all shower heads, no matter where they're produced now, cannot produce more than three gallons per minute. And so they don't really call them water savers. It's just a shower head. Now, you can get a water saver that will actually uh, reduce it even more. But even today, the shower heads, they're reducing it quite a bit. So that's the problem is you're not getting enough water flowing through there. Now, you should be able to turn the water all the way up on the hot side and not on the cold at all. And that way you get enough water running through. So your limit switch isn't turning on and off. I would definitely, if you continue to have problems, have a plumber come in and troubleshoot your particular brand because there's a lot of different brands of tankless water heaters. And this one, or you can even call the manufacturer or look it up online if it's a Renai or you know a Takagi. There's a bunch of different ones. And call them and talk to them saying, hey, I'm having this problem. Is there something with your particular water heater that the setting needs to be adjusted? But the reason is, is in the tub, you get lots of flow. In the shower heads, it's three gallons per minute or less. What about that three-quarter to half-inch thing? Is that an, the loss of water? I don't know. Pressure? That's where the plumber needs to come in. It's called fixture unit sizing. Okay. And I can't size that for him. But in a typical home, unless you're running a manifold system, which I don't know if he is, maybe he is, but if he's not, it's going to be fixed your units. And as the water goes down through the house from point A, past the kitchen, past the bathroom, past the master bathroom, down to the half bath, whatever the case may be, they actually size the pipe smaller going down so you have a balance of pressure and volume. So like in the old days when they just put one size pipe through everything, and somebody said, don't flush the toilet. Your grandfather's in the shower. <laughs> there was a reason for that because he was going to get either scalded or he was going to get frozen and he was going to jump either way <laughs> and then break his hip. So that's why they started using fixture unit sizing. And that's part of being a plumber. And that's why you would call a plumber to see if it is sized right. I thought that's why they came up with the life alert thing. You know, I've fallen and I can't get up. <laughs> yeah. well, and then the hot water is just spraying on you until you're scalded to death. <laughs> so the, the, the idea that, that, that the three-quarter inch into the old hot water heater that's now been sized down to a half inch because of that device, that could in fact be affecting how much water pressure he's getting at the other end. It could. And I can use another example with water uh, softeners. We have a certified Home Show Pro, which is Aquatex. One of the things that they do is people say, well, can I just get any water softener? Water softeners have to go with the size of your home. In other words, if you have four bathrooms or three bathrooms or two bathrooms, uh, they have to look at that because water softeners, as they get bigger, they have a bigger opening as far as the water flowing through. So that doesn't happen down line. So that's part of any fixture. And I just using as a water softener as an add on, you have to be careful with them. That's why you just don't buy something off the rack because chances are it might not give you the flow rate you need to take care of the entire house. All right. You got a question? We can help you out. Go and visit homeshowradio.com, fill out the Ask Tom form, send it in. We'll post your answer at uh, homeshowradio.com or YouTube channel or our Facebook page. If you're not following us on Facebook, well, you don't know when we post new ones. Go ahead and do that.